السلام علیکم و اللہ تعالیٰ ریحان منس اگین اینڈ آج جو موجود ہوں وہ میرے ساتھ موجود ہیں مس فضیلہ and i'm teaching math since very start of my career okay so what's your qualification by the way i am mba in hr and uh, mba in economics in country okay i'm in economics so mba in hr and she is teaching math- mathematics yeah. so there is a fluctuation why like uh, you t- you are in a, you are an mba and you're teaching mathematics how like how, how did you start to doing it um that was my favorite subject uh, math was a favorite uh, subject and i think that does not uh, depends on the Uh, degree that what degree you are taking and mm-hmm. what, the, what uh, subject you are teaching that mm-hmm. only depends on what favorite is your okay so the thing is uh, you have seen pandemic era like there was like 2019 and 2022 19 20 and 2022 yeah. so uh, did how do you like uh, how did you experience teaching online mathematics uh, it was tough when you start like mm-hmm. i was facing too much difficulty how mm-hmm. to teach mathematics especially the algebra portion mm-hmm. and uh, the geometry portion when it comes to construction construction of the circle and the triangle by using the compass and the protectors okay, i so was facing difficulty there uh-huh. then i first started using the whiteboard and i started doing it on the whiteboard but then i switched to the application i searched for it and i switched to geogebra and that's a very good uh, application for using it what is the name geo geo jabra okay uh, i but i want you to like to tell me this so that i can uh, uh, write something on a description that you can get the link of that particular application yes sir. that application is too vast it's mm. having few tools of mm. it in, in which you can use the protector in mm. which you can use the compass you mm. can use the deep and demonstrate the students uh, you can also uh, like uh, like use it up to your choice that which tools are you want to use and you can also make the graphs on it okay so sounds good any uh, any more like application that you want to talk about that you have used it the application i have used is just a normal application like jamboard mm. liveboard in liveboard you can also record it mm. and uh, in jamboard you can invite students they can also write it on the same board on which you are writing so that if you uh, if you wish to uh, as the students to write on the board like we are doing in the physical teaching so we can do it okay. they can do it far yeah. better than uh, okay so another question is do you feel uh, what what kind of difference do you feel uh, teaching online and teaching physical the first difference i feel is the bonding with the students when mm-hmm. because when they are with you face to face you are not always teaching you are having fun in the class as well like they are cracking the jokes i am also cracking the jokes mm. because i think math should be a fun subject and if i just really you think that math should be a fun <laughs> subject it's it's students a fun subject. students do not students do not take it as a fun subject they always get they are, they are tired of they are literally let me let me tell you uh as a te- as a like teacher of english but uh, if it has been i was a student so i was tired of mathematics yeah uh-huh. actually i just said na uh-huh. math is a fun subject and mm-hmm. you should try to make it as a fun subject okay, okay. So okay. what i do is i just go into the class and start with the topic as everybody is doing but i just crack jokes in between just uh, i just uh, talk with the students with their problems and i'm also talking with them after the class as well So I just try to be lenient and friendly because mm. I don't want students to uh, feel bored in my maths class. Mm. Uh, if they are getting bored with the topic, they should not get bored with the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you are that kind of teacher, you will never get bored unless <laughs> while teaching online, uh, if she opens the camera. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, other, otherwise she doesn't open the camera. Okay, now the question, the uh, the like crazy craziest question I have mm-hmm. is. Uh, should teachers turn on the camera like, while teaching? Teachers, sure. Teachers, sure. Why you not turn on it? Why you not? Okay, okay. 
Uh, uh, teachers should open the camera. Why? Because when we are coming to the school, so mm. we are getting dressed up. Uh. So, so the energy starts from there. And okay. We are not opening the camera. We are lazy, uh. and sometimes we teacher are lying on the bed and teaching. Although we have all the knowledge in the mind, but mm. we are not fresh. So if you are not fresh, we cannot deliver. We cannot deliver. So okay. we should open the camera. Like, uh, the app <laughs> not open the camera. We, we should, should like as a, like uh, sending operating procedure. Like if you say that uh, if you want with element of a teacher, so you should open your camera. Yeah. Uh, okay, the another question is uh, how did you survive in pandemic teaching on? online yeah. teaching is uh, uh -huh. like i said yeah. it was because okay i let, let me let me say, say you more thing as a like teacher who is not teaching who does not have a uh, command on the uh, teaching online and gadgets and everything they survive a lot they survived in a way that uh, they couldn't even do like they most of them they, they got jobless they 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 became the victim of unemployment so what do what do you say how did you survive your like yeah, yeah initially like as being a teen, not not exactly as as being young, mm. uh, you know, we people are used to of technology. But mm. the teachers who were not young, who were a bit uh, in the age gap of fifty or more, mm. they were surviving. They were like facing a lot of difficulty because they were not used to of the gadgets. They were even not used to of the phones. They were not using much application on the phone. But we. Uh, as young people, we are using the application, but we found it difficult to use Google Meet. Google. First, when we were using Google Meet, we were like, if we're going to click on any other button, it something will happen. We, okay, so that, we that, were, you, you, you're okay, we were afraid of all this. Yeah, we were. Uh, okay. Sometimes it started blinking, so we do not know what was the reason of the blinking. But then, gradually, gradually, we got to know that there might be some connection issue. But uh, some uh, sometimes that happened that. Students are not uh, able to see the screen, but we can see the screen. So because of their internet issue. Let's move to another question. The question is, which software do you use to teach online? Yes. I used Jamboard. Um, I used Lightboard. Um, I used GeoGebra, um, and I also used my camera. <laughs> no, no, okay. I opened my camera um, and I just uh, made the diagrams like construction sort of thing and mm. I opened the camera. Let's move to the another question. The question is which software do you use micro to teach online at uh, Google Meet, Zoom or Microsoft Teams? Yes. We used uh, Google Meet because uh -huh. our students were having, we were, we were having a portal over there. So uh, we were all having our uh, official IDs. Our students were also having that official ID. So we have just made the link one time and students were coming on the link. And as Zoom, we are not um, providing the links okay. again and again or day, on the daily basis. We have just provided them on once. They were just entering in the class and if they are using their Google ID, so we will, we will not allow them. Uh, their will be a banner mm -hmm. and to accept or not so we're not going to accept it so that we could know that a student itself is coming home the uh, in the class not the parents or anyone else okay sounds good like uh, but i would i would, even i will prefer the google meet because it's free <laughs> and i love free and i i i, I love free things okay last question to miss fazila is do, do you want to give any message about for the mathematics student how they can encourage themselves to teach to understand or learn mathematics um, this message is not just for the students but for the teachers as well. We should make maths as a fun subject. Mm -hmm. Like fun subject, I, I do not mean by fun subject that start playing with the students in the class but just go uh, in the class with some sort of activities because sometimes it gets boring. So for uh, taking out students from the boredom, you, just, you should be having some activities, you should be having some riddles, some uh, riddles uh, like they are some sort of fun riddles related to your subject related to your topic don't go out of the topic don't just uh, make them feel like math is just a fun subject fun do not means you just uh, leave it but fun subject means just go in your class with some activities just uh, demonstrate your students not just the knowledge that is in the book but out of that knowledge you should go through the activities so that makes the students uh, understand more and let's clear their conception thank you so much for coming and joining uh channel uh, okay. yeah uh, do subscribe do subscribe like comment and share it thank you so much this is all from my side see you soon see you in the next show allah hafiz